Hi, tonight I want to invite you to the unboxing of a Cookjoy air fryer as we welcome it into our family of many appliances in this household. So let's open it up together and we'll see what it's like. Okay, this is a 10 liter capacity. It's a dome style air fryer. And before we rip it out of the box, let's see what some of the features are. It has an LED display screen, adjustable temperature and time control, preset functions, auto ready signal, auto shut off system. And it includes a couple gadgets with it. One is a tongs to lift things out. Also there's a high low rack. There's a chicken fork which is for the rotisserie, I believe. A uh, baking cage, which spins around, and a filter to protect the element. Okay, let's open it up. All right, inside the box, we have a recipe book, a message from the company, and also the directions and um, information about the appliance itself. All right, let's see what we can take out. This is the chicken fork for the rotisserie. In this corner, we have the cord. Oh, the lid off of this. It's really packed securely here to protect it. Okay. Right, so I'm closed in a plastic bag. Okay, it has a nice pretty display here. And we're going to open the lid like a hair dryer. Inside is um, feels like the, the cooking basket. Alright, there's our spinning basket. Looks like it would work on the rotisserie. You put your ingredients inside. And inside the basket is the tongs. And here's how we lift. Then we can use the tongs to lift things. All right, nice, nice tool. Also, in here is a high-low rack. Now, the high-low rack would be used to get you closer to the element, or to get you further away from the element, and then still keep you off the ground floor of this unit. And still yet, we have a screen, and the screen would be used to protect the element from the grease or anything that would make it dirty and that way it keeps it more efficient. So we'll learn how to put that on. This is basically what we use as a vessel. It's a non-stick coating. Fits into this base. So it's a really good size. The 10 liter capacity is rather large and it has protective handles to pick this up. One feature I see right away on the side is a release button to keep the lid from coming back down when you don't want it to. So that's a nice safety feature right there. All right. There's a very nice instruction book that came with it. And it explains that this unit can cook from 120 degrees to 450 degrees. And that's quite a nice range. Some of the air fryers that I've used don't go up that high. Also, there's a great cooking chart inside of this booklet, which I just want to show you real quick. A lot of times people are searching for what temperatures should we cook different types of things in an air fryer. And here are the settings and here are the temperatures that, that coordinate with them. 
and how long the cooking time will be set for if you use the recommended setting. And here's also a quick example of the kinds of food that you would cook there. So let's say, for instance, we would make a steak. We would use the grill feature and this would cook at 380 degrees for 15 minutes. So I think we should try that. <laughs> what do you think? All right, let's try cooking a steak. Okay, if you press the menu key, you'll see a flashing lightning. That's turbo. And if you go through the menu key, keep uh, touching it, you'll see it go to the next, which is roast, and the next fry, and the next bake, and then stir fry, and then grill, and then barbecue. And if you want to use the roll feature, you just hit the roll button. Now if you want to change the temperatures to be your own uh, setting and not one that's already in the preset, go to the temperature and timer button and you'll see the temperature or the time lit up and you can increase it or decrease it. Or you can hit this again and go to the other, like the 390 here. We're going to make it more or less. It's really simple. Now when you're ready and you pick what it is that you want to use, then you hit the start button and the unit starts up. If you want to stop this in the middle of the cooking, press the start button again. And then you can also shut it off that way. So that's how you can quickly end the cooking cycle. When the unit comes to the end of your cooking cycle, it will beep, I think it's three times, for you to know that your cooking is done. And you will have the heating element stop, but there will still be a fan blowing to cool down the element. Okay, that's a quick summary of how to get going with this appliance. We're going to start by making a steak, which is what I wanted to cook for dinner tonight. And you'll find that we give this appliance a real good workout. Both Rick and I will give it a try with different things that we make. And we'll show you some videos of how that's going to work. Okay, to get ready for our steak, I'm going to open the lid. I'm going to use this vessel, so I'll leave that in place. And then I'm also going to use the rack. So we'll put this in the high setting here so that the steak is closest to the heating element. Alright, I have two nice grass-fed ribeye steaks here. And I'm going to season them with Old Bay seasoning. A lot of people are used to using Old Bay only for seafood, but it's a real great shortcut for other seasonings as well. Look, it's celery salt and it's other spices such as red pepper, black pepper, and paprika. To me, that's just right for this steak. So it doesn't have to be used just for seafood. All right, I'm going to start by pouring some on the plate. And we're going to use that to season the meat. Now I am going to trim a little bit of this fat off of here because I know some of you guys don't like the fact that I trim the fat, but it's coming off. It's got enough fat going through the meat that I don't need all this extra. And that is the reason we're using the air fryer. Okay, so there's a nice ribeye. And I'm just going to take it and lightly touch it down on that seasoning. And make sure we get some in all the spots. It's a little spicy. And then you can also go around the edges a little bit too. Alright, so there's a nicely seasoned ribeye. Look how quick 
the seasoning is already put together for you. And then we're going to place it on the rack in the air fryer. Let's do the other one too. Again, the big chunks of fat we're going to cut right off. And we're going to season this piece also. Delicious. It's kind of a Cajun. All right. Now the spices are pressed in there real nice. And we're going to also put this on the rack. Now they suggest in the booklet that I just looked over that you want to stay away from the outside edge a little bit because that creates a nice airflow. So give your uh, contents here a little bit of room for the air to flow through and that's how the air fryer works. All right, let's air fry this steak. We're going to release the lid with the latch on the side. We already have this filter in place and it's plugged in and we're going to set this with the preset buttons for cooking a steak. So let's try that out. Start, menu, and we'll hit the menu button until it goes to grill which shows a picture of a steak. The preset is 380 degrees for 15 minutes. Let's go. Now what's really great I think about this air fryer and one reason that I wanted to have it is you can see what's going on inside. And you know some of the air fryers that we already have in this household you can't see what's going on inside. This is a great feature because you know what's going on and if you need to uh, make any changes to your cooking along the way it's very easy to do it without interrupting the heat that's coming down from the element. Okay, we're going to come back in about six minutes and flip this over. I can see that it's already starting to sear the meat and that will keep the juices inside. In the meantime, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to put a link to the Cookjoy air fryer in my description above and the company gave me a discount code that you can use if you're interested in having one yourself. Okay, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, now we're about halfway through the cooking process here. And you can see the meat is getting nicely seared and the Old Bay rub that we put on there is getting nice and flavorful. I'm going to open this and the unit will shut off. You can see the element here. And the steak is looking great so now I'm going to flip them over and do this pretty quickly so we don't lose any heat you can see it does cook from the other side as well because the air circulates but I'm going to do this for a couple more minutes because I want the sear on the top as well okay let me release the latch close the lid and the cooking starts up right away. All right. Now you can adjust the time that you want to cook your steak based on how you like to eat a steak. <laughs> so don't forget that. You can change it very easily. The cooking's done. All right, let's take a look. Oh, they look delicious. All right, we're going to get these out on the plate. We're going to let them rest for a few minutes. All right, let's cut into these steaks and see how they came out.
beautiful juicy inside perfectly done and they have a nice crispy edge on the outside from the air fryer okay give her a taste mmm that's a delicious steak That's a nice warm seasoning to use too. Try it. It's really good. And air fried steak. Easy, fast, delicious. Thanks for watching.